Yesterday I bought this lovely Leica M8 and I knew it was not adjusted properly and it had to be sent to Germany to be adjusted. But unfortunately uh, Leica says their factory is closed due to coronavirus uh, because they want to keep their employer safe, uh, which is, I think it's good for them. Uh, but I didn't want to wait, I don't know, another few months before I could uh, use it properly. So I spent all like entire evening yesterday reading how to adjust it yourself, uh, yourself. And what I found is so I realized it's not all the info is not that uh, structurized. There's no like tutorial on YouTube how to do it. So basically, if if your viewfinder is or rangefinder if it's vertically aligned, it's much much easier. All you need is a 2mm hex key and you can see here you insert it there and basically you just rotate it gently so yeah, you set the lens to infinity you go outside or look out of the window on something far, far away, like a few kilometers away. I heard some people use moon at night, so because it's quite bright. So you set it to infinity, uh, and you see that it's in viewfinder, it's aligned. Also, what I did, I tested that actually infinity is infinity. I took a picture at infinity and then a little bit back to see what what is more in, in focus. And my lens was, uh, yeah, it's my first Leica lens, so that's why I'm wondering. I had I have this cue, but the, on the cue, if you focus, if you manually focus it, if you go past infinity, it actually becomes less in focus. So that's why I did that. Uh, so my lens was correct, and then I tested on on, on infinity. It just went out on the balcony, I looked far, far away on the building, a few kilometers away. Uh, made adjustment and see if it's better or worse and then by small small like you should not be pushing just rotating it slightly uh, yeah but the trouble with my like was that it was vertically also it was there was vertical offset between the patch and the image and the problem with that is you need to unglue this like a logo and you can see I scratched it a little bit but I ordered a new one already it's only 20 euro uh, I will not unglue it again because it wouldn't probably hold the third time since I don't have another one yet uh, but uh, in the link in the video uh, that I link in the description it will be clear uh, what's inside you probably wouldn't be able to see it now anyway uh, but the problem that Leica sells the tool for like uh, for a lot of money I'm not sure even if it sells it but there is a part number and you can order one on eBay from China for like 60 euro uh, which is, and it will take a few months, so it wasn't an option either. So I found on the forums that some people uh, make, like, they take screwdriver and then grind half of it off. And I realized I don't have any flat screwdrivers uh, small enough to fit. So the idea is that there are like two metal plates. One has a hole in it, and another has like a cutout. And by rotating this eccentric tool, you move one against another. It also has a bit of adhesive at top. Uh, I used this uh, lens cleaner. It smells of something like alcohol or acetone, so I thought it should work, and it did work. Or maybe it didn't, uh, but at least it didn't make it worse. So I just a uh, just small drop on this adhesive. You'll see it at, at, at the top. Uh, yeah, also how to unglue the Leica logo. And maybe not the best advisor here, but what I did, I, I used my nails and just rotated it uh, because it, it's like 3D. So I like rotated one way, another way, and then I tried to take it off like that. And it didn't work, you can see I scratched a bit of paint here and here. So in the end I just rotated it 
180 degrees and adhesive went off. So it just fell off. Yeah, so I made the tool myself. I took this metal plate from my PC and grinded it off. So the most important part is this tip. Um, so about the, like the size, it should be like about one millimeter deep and one millimeter wide. And it should have a, a little bit of uh, offset. It took me about two hours to make it right because it was first it was the tip was too long, so I had to grind it. Then the whole thing wasn't long enough, so I had to cut more of it and grind it more. But in the end, uh, it worked. Uh, but please remember that I'm not responsible for uh, for if you break your camera. I'm not expert. I, I also made it my like first time today. It's my first Leica. Like it's my first Leica M. Uh, so be careful. But I thought it might help someone decide if they want to try it themselves. Hmm. I think it it applies for like M8 and M M9. I'm not sure about M240. I heard. For like M10, you don't need the this tool. It uses hex inside there. Oh yeah, so after I adjusted the vertical alignment, I did the infinity, and then you you want to test it at one meter. So you set this to one meter, and you take picture of something in focus, and then you see if it's back focus or front focus. And then if infinity is set correctly, but front focus isn't, it wasn't my case. My case. Uh, but I heard that happens sometimes. So you can see there's another screw. Uh, I think it's a flat screw. And it's also eccentric. And I believe by rotating it you change the arm length and you can adjust how like the front focus. If but first you need to adjust infinity. Because it, it adjusted the entire thing. And then if infinity is correct and front focus is then it, but I didn't try that, so it just it's something I, I read. I didn't have to do it. Probably you you wouldn't have it have to do it as well. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it helps someone. Check the description to see the video uh, how to adjust rangefinder. It it shows how camera looks without the top cover. It's for M6 and M7, but uh, the Pierce M8 has uh, exactly the same one. Alright, take care, stay healthy, bye bye.